Hi, this is Ms. Fields. I wanted to show you how to walk through Achieve 3000 um, as part of your homework requirement for grades 6, 7, and 8. Uh, here you can see I'm on the login screen for Achieve 3000. I'm going to go ahead and log in as a student. And you just put in your student ID, your first name and your student ID number, and then TX, uppercase T, lowercase X, and then your six-digit birth date and then you click login. The screen that will pop up will be a drop down menu. It'll say fields uh, language arts one and two and then field social studies. Right now we're just going to start with language arts uh, class one and class two. Those are just the different grade levels. So click login from there. And I'm actually logging in as Eduardo. He gave me his permission to do that. Oh look, he has a nice little message there congratulating him on something that he's earned because of uh, his activity. That's fantastic. So once we log in, this is the screen you'll see. And as part of your homework requirement, you are to do one hour a night, Monday through Friday, on Achieve. And that does not count towards your attendance time. It's just homework. So if you want to just start with the article that pops up from the very first screen, you can totally do that. In fact, unless I assign it, that's what you will do. If I assign certain articles, you'll see that as well. So if we go ahead and start this, The Gift of Life, you have a little brief summary of what it's about, and then you click Start Lesson. The lesson then opens up. Uh, you can see this is where um, Eduardo is actually in the article. I'm going to go ahead and start the poll beginning here. If it lets me. Um, here you can see Eduardo already answered the pre-article reading poll. He agreed and then he put a complete explanation there which is awesome. Um, he can choose to print this out or he can click the next tab over which is actually reading the article. But before you do that I want you to review the vocabulary um, that's listed here on the right hand side. It Integral. Will... Adjective. Central. Extremely important to something. It actually reads you the word, the type, the part of speech, and the definition. And then here's the other vocabulary Replenish. word. Replenish. Verb. To fill or make complete again. Okay. And then you have a map, a puzzle, a rubric. Don't worry about the extras for now. What our concern for getting the homework assignment done is to do complete all the tabs that are going across here from uh, left to write. So obviously you can see um, Eduardo already completed the before reading poll. Then hopefully he read the article. I'm sure he did. Um, and you can uh, use the highlighter. My favorite color is green, so I'll use green. And I could say, well, let's see. I'm going to highlight one of the words. I'll just pick a sentence here to, to highlight. So I select the sentence I want to highlight in case I want it that for later on and I can just click it the little highlighter. If I want to undo that I just select it again and then I can undo it. Okay. The idea about highlighting is just so that you can see once you're totally done if you click this button down here it collects all the highlights into a separate window that you do. So my suggestion is to um, Highlight important pieces of information in each paragraph, break it up, and then go highlight them by different colors or all the same color. It's up to you. I would do it by different color, by like paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and then you'd be able to click this um, separate window of highlights so that you could just review that before you do anything further. So here's where you would read the article. And then down here below, you can click activity which is the idea, or you can go back up here to the top and do the activity. Both take you to the same spot. And here you can see where Eduardo is in the activity. He answers some questions, or he clicks the link, and then he selects the answer, and then it tells him if he's right or wrong. We'll pick one of the ones that he got wrong here and figure out why. Which is the closest antonym to the word integral as it is used in the article? Let's see. Integral. Let's see. He's picked. 
Huh? All right, so, and then he went back and he fixed it. So if you get it wrong, you get a second chance. First try, he got it wrong. Second try, he got it right. Here, he got it wrong both tries. We'll pick this one and see what happened here. Uh, based on the information in the article, which happened first. Now again, you're going to want to make sure you have read the article completely so you're able to answer these questions. If not by the first try, then definitely by the second try. But I can see he's only done that, had the mistake uh, one time. So once you're done with that, it gives you the score. And then you go to the next down here at the bottom. Or you can scroll all the way back up and go to the next one, which is the after reading poll. Looks like he disagreed here and then click thought question. It takes you right there. And here is where he has uh, got his draft going. And then once he hits submit, it sends it to me. I'm not sure if he's done yet or not, so I'll wait and talk to him about that. But if you don't hit submit, it will not show as a completed assignment for you. So I want to make sure that you guys understand that. Okay, and then here is um, a tally of the poll results. And then you're going to go down, you're going to keep going all the way across the top. Here is the math portion, the activity. He has to select the answer he wants and then hit submit. Again, if you don't hit submit, I cannot get the results and it does not count. So make sure as you're doing this, you're completing all the tabs going across here from left to right, all of them. And anytime it says submit, make sure you complete the answer and then hit submit so that I get that information through the um, portal. Next is the stretch activity. And here it looks like it's the article again. And you have a second chance to read the article or third chance, click stretch activity. And then it tells you Select the letter of the correct answer. Consider the quote from the article. Here's the quote. And then you select your answer. Once you select your answer, make sure you hit submit. I'm not going to do it on here because it's clearly still Eduardo working. So he reads this quote from the article. And then you answer this question here based off of that article. Pick the choice, hit submit, and then you move on. Once you're done, with the very last activity, which would be the stretch activity after you've read the stretch article, you are done. You hit submit and then you're, you're able to move on. There it looks like there are eight total questions in the activity. I'm not going to move on to the next one because I know that he is not done. So you go through these eight different questions. Again, I know there are eight questions here because down here at the bottom it says question one of eight. And I can always refer back to the article by clicking this link. It pops up with the article. I can refer to it. And it even has the vocabulary words there. I could have this open at the same time while I'm doing the questions. There's no reason to get the question wrong. Again, to be able to go on to the next seven questions after this first one, you'd hit submit. That's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching.